Hello and welcome. Hey, hello. This is Create on Canva. I'm Laura and I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial today. So I'm going to show you something a little bit different today. I'm going to show you a vintage style image, more of like a photocopy, um, old scan type effect that you can add to your images. Now, this is a lovely thing to do. I'm going to do this with a pet portrait, but you can do it with any type of photo you want completely up to you. So let's go and have a look at exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. OK, so here we are. This is the kind of effect I'm going to be showing you how to create. I love this look. It's so old and vintagey, but this is done with a new photo. So I will take all the effects off and I will show you how we do this. So I'm starting from scratch. I'm going to start from a blank page and I'm going to show you how we create this. OK, so first of all, what do we need? We need a photo. We need a lovely photo that we're going to use. Um, you can use whatever photo you want. I'm actually just going to use the one I created the original with. A little picture of these two guys here. I have two dogs myself, so it kind of, sort of pulls at the heartstrings a bit. Um, I'm going to flip the image so they're facing that way. And I just want to drag it out so it is the same size as my background, so it fits nicely. There we go. We've got our two little guys. So I now need to change this to black and white. I'm not going to go for standard black and white. I'm going to show you which one I'm going to use. So if you highlight the template, highlight your image, click, then click edit image. Scroll down to the photogenic section and click see all. Now, once this loads, there'll be a load of color ones at the top. If you scroll down to the black and white, the mono version film, it just brings out that look that we're, we're aiming for here. So I'm going to click film. You can click see controls and it just gives you an intensity of the actual filter on top of your image. Hit apply and now we've got that black and white look. If we go over to elements, I've actually got the elements that I've been using here for this particular tutorial, but I'm gonna show you how to find them. So we look for, this is a recently used here, photocopy scan overlay. Photocopy scan overlay. These are the keywords you need. Now it's this one here. I really like this. It is a pro image, a pro graphic, I'm afraid. So if we flip this, we want to give this edge a nice look. So you start to get that fading photocopy scan effect. So this is the next one you're going to need. Again, it is a pro element. Um, it's under the photocopy scan overlay keywords, but I'm going to add this to my design. And I'm going to stretch this out. Again, so it goes over the entire page. And I'm going to flip it upside down. So it kind of gives that narrow effect there. You've also got this wobbly edge along the top. OK, so so far we've added two elements and the third one I'm going to add is this one here. Transparent overlay photocopy scan texture um, It's that one there. Can you see it's very hard to see because these are so black and white against the black background. But I'm going to flip this one horizontally and I'm going to add it up in this corner. Just pull it out. I don't want it too far. Keep losing my image. I don't want it too far over their faces. I want to keep that section there clear, but you want to give the overlay and the overall look that you're making it all old and vintagey. So there we have it. There we have our old vintage style photo with just using a couple of the 
photocopy overlay elements and a photo of your choice. There you go. So what did you think? I hope you enjoyed that. I love creating uh, tutorials like this. And I thought this is more of a fun one that you can use a pet, a child, a family member, a product if you wanted to go real vintage and old school with it. But it's just a lovely little tutorial to create. So that's it from me at the moment. I'm Laura. I'm a Canva creator and I am from the Business Design Academy. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you follow us for more.